Hey guys, welcome to another Football Manager mobile video. In this video, I'll be showing you the best 4-2-3-1 tactic in Football Manager Mobile 2021 at the moment. I found this tactic over the past week and decided to share it. It's the best tactic I've found for winning matches, scoring, and of course winning titles. So without further ado, I'll show you the tactics. So it's a simple 4-2-3-1. Um, when it comes to goalkeeper, you should go sweeper keeper because you're attacking. Just normal fullbacks and central defenders. Nothing fancy regarding that. Then when it comes to midfield, just with a central mid and a ball winning mid, that's all you need. The ball winning mid is important to winning the ball back and getting it to your four attacking players. When it comes to wingers, you need inside forwards so you can cut inside and so fullbacks can also cross. And then the pressing forward because you're doing an attacking formation to press their defenders and midfielders to win the ball back. So here's the tactical shape. It's attacking, balanced width, you don't need to go narrow or wide with this. Fast tempo because it's an attacking tactic, so you want to be pressing high. And for creative freedom, it's disciplined, you just want attacking, you don't want anything special. Um, defensive, you don't want a high line, I've stuck with this formation which is balanced all over and normal. The all over fits the attacking suit. You don't need a high line. You don't need a deep line because you want to get the ball up the field with defenders as well. Tackling normal so you don't potentially give up reds, but also cautious. You don't want to give them too much space to score with a shield side. And here we go, the final tactics. Long goalkeeper distribution. We're not passing it out from the back or trying to control the game, so we'll just do long. Um, mixed passing focus because you have wide players and players down the middle. Um, mixed passing style. We're not going too direct where it's countering, and we aren't going too short where it's controlling. Run at defense because we don't really need three balls, and we want those inside forwards running at defenders. Work into the box. Um, and then look for overlap to try and get the fullbacks involved. So here we go, history. Um, I won the second division, starting to use it. I've also won, finished in the top half. I'll show you in another save. I'll cut to them right now. Here's another save with Halifax, and I'll show you. This season, I won the Champions League. I've used it only these two seasons. So I've won three trophies, and there, okay, cut to another one. And with this save as well with Melbourne, over the past three seasons with Chelsea and Melbourne, I've been using it, so, so far good here, won a trophy. Uh, here I only lost one game, then with Chelsea I won the Champions League, came in halfway through the season with a poor side, but won the Champions League, and did decently there just show people watching this video as I've seen issues with in previous tactical videos by other YouTubers as well as mine. I want to clarify that this team isn't amazing with the statistics. So it's not that I have a great team which is making me win these games. It's a form and tactic. So here we go. First game against Granada. And let's see how it goes. So here we go, right down the mill. A good start already. Um, controlling possession right now, which is good. Uh, mainly most of the chances have came for us so far. And then you see we're dominating here. Another chance at the end, and there 1-0 Pepe got him on a free agent, so you gotta watch out for free agents in this game. So it's 1-0 here. So far we haven't conceded any good chances. They've had one shot and it's off target. 
So it's been a pretty solid game. Another chance that should be two, but it's offside anyways. And lots of chances you'd want another goal to secure the win. But so far it's been a fine game. And only two shots conceded, both off target, controlling possession. And there's one chance you'd hope that doesn't. And that's another save by their keeper. But it's free flowing football. And there's definitely attacking and the defenders are doing their job. You have to be careful to shoot at sight, but so far it's been fine. And the passing's been good. That could be two. Offside. And that should wrap it up. So look at that. Solid game. You'd hope a more convincing win, but look at that domination. Matches against lower placed Almira, or however it's pronounced, and they beat Real Sociedad 5 0. J just so we'll see how they perform here as they're on form, I guess, in their past game. And it's a way match, so it's not going to be home dominance. And 1 0 up. So good start. That's another chance. You'll definitely get a lot of chances with these tactics. The only thing you have to worry about is the uh, computer scoring against you against the run of play. As that is an issue. Here's a chance. And it's one all. Juan Manuel Gutierrez used to be a Wonder Kid in this game. I believe I had him in the my video on Wonder Kids in 2020. But then he went to Spain. So here's a chance. And 2-1. So that's so far going well. And can we finish it? And there we go. Facundo Calido brought him in from Inter. Another chance. It'd add an exclamation point if we could get fourth. And it's a penalty. So there's definitely attacking in this. And it's 4 1. Good result. Definitely not as, not as much domination as the last match, but the result's much better. And that's what happens, you have to be clinical sometimes. Four one win. So next match, one foul match to show the tactic. Here's the foul match in a derby match against Celta Vigo, and we'll see what happens. Already good attacking from the start. So Tavigo is on the same points as this team, so it'll be very similar. And it's 1-0. Free-flowing attacking football. So far, good start. Pepe with a chance. Courtney House is another player that you could go after. Usually transfer listed. You can get him for a bargain price. He can play basically in any top flight division. So 2-0. And 
And here we go, more attacking, Pepe's tripped. What, this is more similar to the first game, but with more clinical attacking. There's a chance, and right down the middle. And that's good. Winning the pressing works. As I was saying at the start of the video, the press works really well. That just pressed the fullback into making a mistake. And now 3-1 up here in a derby match. Macias Pereira. Might not have much more action. So usually there's not many chances given up on this tactic. Which is very good. Like, I'm not playing with great players right now, as you start, saw at the start. But I'm still pulling off good results. And we're getting into the latter half of the match. Last 10 minutes. Mafio. And then here, we have lots of players down the middle, which can stop countering right at the end. Free kick. And it's a good save by Robin Olsen. And that's it. So that's it for this tactical video. Three wins out of three. I haven't done any... Um dodgy things like other YouTubers where they'll save scum to try and prove it or play against inferior opposition because I want to just show that this tactic actually works and isn't a fraud like some tactics you'll see out there where people just put a video together in hopes that'll work. Um, so that's it for this video. Um, stay tuned for more videos coming out soon and have a great day guys.